as long as Nunavut does not have a land use plan in place, its caribou will continue to decline, says Nunavut's first premier, Pa Okalik. He's currently one of the World Wildlife Fund's lead specialists on the Arctic, working with communities on how to protect caribou or Tuktu calving grounds. Hunting caribou on Baffin Island and other areas is carefully managed by the Nunavut Wildlife Management Board, who manage how many caribou Inuit can hunt. Mining companies, he says, aren't under the same restrictions when it comes to mining on calving grounds. And these companies, they won't be here in the long run. They're just here for the ore. Once the ore's gone, they're gone. The jobs are gone. And the, and the land that we have left, if it's cal calving grounds, the grounds that the habitat that the caribou need to fle feed is destroyed. Like, where are they going to go? Like, that's our food. So that's the basic question that we try and tackle with the communities is how to protect what little we have left. Currently, the plan supports a development ban on caribou calving grounds in the land use plan which encompasses 25% of Nunavut. These are areas where caribou give birth and f can feed more, characterized by its high quality vegetation. The requirement for a land use plan precedes the territory, as outlined in the 1993 Nunavut Agreement. It's supposed to serve as the framework for development and conservation in Nunavut. However, it has seen delay after delay, with multiple drafts being formed by the Nunavut Planning Commission but not implemented, the latest ones being from 2016, 2021, and 2023. Uh, it's overdue. In the absence of a plan, these mining companies are creeping into calving grounds themselves because there's no protection today. So, as an Inuk today on Baffin Island, I can't hunt caribou because we're trying to protect the population. But the mining company has no restrictions whatsoever on depleting the, the actual caribou population with accessing calving grounds. So they're, they're depleting our caribou population without regulation. Food is expensive in Nunavut. So for Inuit, caribou, or Tuktu, is a staple and hunting is more viable. Uh, this is one part of the country where we can do something about our traditional grounds as indigenous peoples. This is one place on, on our country where we can say off limits here. This is our traditional part of our land or our cabin grounds that our forefathers would never venture into because they did not want to disturb the calving activity of the caribou, for instance. And this is something how we can tackle it through the land use plan and, and tackling it with the current tools that we are allowed to use today. The Nunavut Planning Commission submitted its 2023 Nunavut Land Use Plan for approval to Nunavut Tungavik Incorporated and the territorial and federal governments in June. In an email to APTN, the federal government said they're currently reviewing the plan with their counterparts and and they recognize the importance of having a land use plan for Nunavut. Trevor Wright, APTN National News, Hikaluit.